everybody, it's Anna. Time for our final card in this week's tarot story. We close with our second major arcana card for the week, and it is the world reversed. So the world is the last card in the major arcana. So it marks the moment where we have accomplished our goal. We finished this chapter of our lives. We've crossed the finish line, and now we're being invited to celebrate. This woman is naked, which implies that she's very comfortable being seen. She's celebrating who she really is. She's wrapped in purple, which is a sign of victory. She's got a garland around her, which is another sign of victory. So basically, she is just having a big party for herself. She's telling the story of her victory. This is kind of like if you look at the... Um, the Odyssey, you know, the Homer's the Odyssey, where you're looking at the story, you remember the challenges, you remember the places where you almost lost your way, but then you remember you found your way. And it's a hero story. So you're at the end of this chapter, you're looking back at this story, and you can remember it was hard. You remember that you lost faith sometimes, but you righted yourself, you kept going, and you're telling the story as yourself, as the hero. So, um, which is good because you are the hero of your own story for one thing, but the mind needs to rehearse that because the mind needs to recognize where things seem to go wrong, but didn't really go wrong. You were able to correct them. There is a wisdom to how you've been walking. You've never made a mistake. Even when you struggled and you maybe even suffered and um, things happened you weren't prepared for and you didn't see coming, you still were able to keep going. Something in you found the path, found the healing and kept going forward. That is the story you want your mind to learn about yourself. Not that you're hopelessly making mistakes left and right, but because that mistakes are only challenges that you meet and conquer. So when this card is upright, it's telling you, tell your story, celebrate your finish line and set yourself up because it's a portal. The circle is also a portal. You're ending one thing. You're starting another one. You want your mind to be in good shape and excited about what you're going to accomplish next. Now, this one came to us reversed. And the way I see that fitting into this tarot story is we want the mind to see that when we didn't end up where we thought we were going, we actually ended up in a better spot. So this is where I think the mind's having problems with us this week is that we're in the middle of this intuitive journey. We're feeling ready to move forward. We've got something to do. And the mind's saying, but where's it going to end? What's the goal, right? The mind likes to have a goal because the mind thinks if you have the goal, you can make the map to get to that goal. And that works for linear people. It doesn't work for body and heart intuitives, right? So the mind is using a, a, a paradigm which doesn't work for heart and body intuitives, which is pretty much all the people that are interested in what I'm doing are body, body and heart intuitives. So the mind would like to have the goal. So we want to show the mind is that we have never made it to the goal, right? I can speak for myself. Everything I thought, every place I thought I was going, I never ended up there. I ended up somewhere completely different. But when I got to that new place, that's exactly where I wanted to be. <laughs> Turns out where I ended up was better than what I had planned on. So we want to show the mind that every time we thought we had a plan, it kind of fell apart. But something better came up. So the not knowing is the reversal of the of the world. We didn't make it to the end of the chapter. We made it to the end of a different chapter, one that was actually waiting for us to claim. And although we didn't know in our minds where we were going, something in our souls always knew where we were going and it was better than what we expected. So the reversal of the world is basically saying we didn't accomplish what we thought we were going to accomplish, but look what we did accomplish, something we couldn't have even imagined at the beginning of the journey. That encourages the mind to be excited about surprises, to be excited about the unknown, and to trust that even though it is walking in the dark, you are not in the dark. There's a part of you that always knows where you're going. And that makes the mind relax, even if it's uncomfortable and nervous, which it kind of always sort of stays that way. <laughs> even so, it still trusts you enough to say, you've always found the way forward. No reason for me to doubt you now. That's our last card. See you next week. Bye.